charm of the beat. So to start off this cut, I'm going to close my lever all the way and establish my bald line. And you'll see I'm starting at the top of the arch and then dropping it towards the back. And as I get towards the back, I'm making sure to keep it below, you know, that indentation that you can see right there. It kind of looks like a dark spot. And the reason being is because I want to make sure that I don't blend above that because then it'll kind of look funny. So I want to fade right below it. So that way it kind of complements his head shape and blends, you know, as best as possible. So I'm doing the same thing on the other side, starting at the bottom of the vertical bar and then working my way back. And now I'm going to come in with my trimmer and ball the rest of it out. Now I'm being sure to stay right below that ball line that I established with the clipper closed. And I'm just letting the weight of the trimmer do the work here. So as you can see the hair is coming off like butter and shout out to babyliss for sending me the new low pros um with the interchangeable battery which is super fire definitely recommend if you're looking to get yours look out on their website or use code drake clipper hands at the barber plug when they're in stock and we got you with us a discount and now we're gonna come in lever all the way open and we're gonna go up about a finger's width here still maintaining that kind of drop shape that we established with our bald line but as you can see man these clippers definitely hit they blend nice they cut well um i've been using them for probably about a week now and so far they're good man i'm loving them they're giving me no issues with hair the power is insane and not to mention man the interchangeable battery is really a game changer because you know when that one dies all i gotta do is grab the other one take it off the charger plug this one in and we're ready to go i don't have to use another clipper you know i can keep the flow that i maintained all day and now towards the back as you can see i'm making sure to stay below that dark spot because it's a lot easier to blend below it than it is to blend above it and i just think it looks better now above that we're going to come in with our one guard all the way open still doing that same thing now with this fade, what I'm going to be doing is establishing all my lines going up and then blend them working down. As you can see, I'm connecting it with the other side, which I already faded. And we're just picking up where we left off. Now right above that, I'm going to grab my two guard with that lever all the way open. And I believe this is the biggest guard that we are going to use. And then after this two guard, I'm going to go ahead and blend down. So I went ahead and closed it because the open wasn't taking off enough hair. But as you can see, I'm coming in and kind of coming off the shape of his head. I'm not digging into the curls on top. This should pretty much just easily transition into that length, especially with this hair texture. And you'll see that I comb and brush every pass of the clipper. And that's because especially with this hair texture, it kind of coils up and starts to bunch up. So I want to make sure that I smooth that hair down, get it nice and laid. So that way, when we come in and blend, we have no issues. Now I'm working with that one and a half and I'm starting to blend down here. So right now it's all the way closed. And as you can see, we haven't even got through all our steps and it's already looking much better. It's starting to look very blended, but we're just continuing to work, continuing to detail as we go. And now for that line I just pointed out, we're going to come in with our half guard open and then we'll go ahead and close that little by little until we get that line completely blended. And the system I always like to follow is make sure that I establish my system and my guidelines as quick as possible then get through that process and then I'll spend majority of the time detailing and really taking that blend to a whole nother level so now we're getting towards the back and you can see especially towards the end what well, leaving that weight did at that um, indentation is it just made it a lot easier we didn't have to dig into it and, and expose it that much more 
now we're coming in with the clipper closed now we're going to tap at this last line and as we move up that lever will go ahead and notch it open as we move up so i'm still closed here and make sure to go into the line not stop right at it because in order to blend it you kind of got to go into it slightly so make sure that you're doing that but right here i'm playing with that lever and opening it little by little and that blend is coming out super blurry but we are definitely going to go back in detail now we're moving towards the back and doing the same thing And right here, I'm going to utilize the corner of my trimmer to break up that last line because the clipper closed, it didn't really fully get rid of it. And what using the corner does is just ensure that we don't take off too much hair and create another line. And we're just detailing here. And now to bring everything together and kind of smooth everything out, clipper over comb, especially on this hair texture, will detail that blend to a whole nother level. So I'm lever all the way open. And I'm coming in with that comb and flaring out slightly. And any hair sticking out of it on the way up, I'll go ahead and get rid of. And really what I'm doing is using my comb as a guard. So you'll see I'm coming into the hair and then uh, flaring it out. And we're just trying to get it as clean as we possibly can. As you can see that blend came out nicely now we're gonna blend into the beard and all blending into the beard is is just a reverse taper so I'm coming in open and then that hair in between I'm gonna come in closed and then open it little by little now we're gonna grab our one guard and do that same thing so I'm tapping at that line closed and I'm seeing it's not doing the job so I open it all the way and now we're gonna use the corner with no guard to blend out that faint line in between and this pretty much gets us through our beard blend. Super easy, super simple. Literally takes like a minute in real time. And as you can see, super clean. And what we are going to do is add a part back in there. And we're just giving it kind of a swoop so it's not straight. And it kind of follows the shape of that blend that drops down towards the back. So I always like to establish the initial shape of my line, you know, very lightly, very thin. And then I'll sharpen and thicken it up as I, as I, you know, continue to put it in there. Using the corner of that blade and I'm kind of just drawing just like I would with a pencil. And now we're going to use our razor and especially with designs, the razor is what really makes that design pop and look 3D and kind of stand out. So you want to make sure when you come in with that razor that you're stretching the skin and all those hairs in between the line you just want to go ahead and get rid of those and sharpen up that bottom line and then when i lean the client back we're going to go ahead and sharpen up the top line as well and you can already see it's starting to look way cleaner it's really starting to pop separate itself from the rest of the cut Right here I'm just gonna spray the skin with alcohol and then wipe it and what this is gonna do is rid of any oil on the skin that might get in the way of the lineup and give us a nice clean surface and now we're gonna come in with our trimmer to line up his vertical bar and I always like to start off with the vertical bars because then it gives me an easy reference point when starting in the middle and trying to make that front line straight so that's what I'm doing right here I went to the middle and I'm gonna work towards his left corner Trying to stay as natural as possible, but at the same time, get it as clean and as sharp as possible. I'm just tapping at that line, trying to get it as clean as I can. And as you can see, man, these trimmers hit. This is without a razor. Very minimal taps with the clipper. And it's already looking clean. 
and that's a cool little trick i like to do to get rid of any little peach fuzz that you know you can't really see but might distract from the the, the sharpness of the hairline Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to start off with his vertical bar and then I'm going to meet that middle to his corner. And the lineup is framing out everything. It's what's really going to make that blend stand out. It's what's going to give his head, you know, from the front view more symmetry. So I want to make sure that I get this as clean as I can. And now we're going to get into his mustache. And with the mustache, it's pretty simple. All we want to do is clean up the bottom of the that's the uh, bottom of the lip, above the lip, and then the top of the lip. We're going to thin it out just a little bit. We don't want it super thick, but we also don't want it very thin. And then one trick I like to do is use my shaver to get rid of the stubble. So that way when we come in with the razor, you know, we have a nice clean, smooth shave. And now when using the razor, you want to make sure that you stretch the skin in the opposite direction and then bring everything to the line. And this is what's really gonna make the hairline sharp, pop, and last. So you wanna make sure that you get this, you know, as good as you can. And when the skin is nice and clean, you should naturally get that white ash line that you might see there. And that's just from the client having clean skin. It's not ashy, that's just good uh, lineup prep. And now I'm hitting the top of that design like I said I would with the razor. And now we're gonna frame out the bottom of the beard. And I believe, especially with people that have smaller or thin beards, the bottom of the beard is really what makes, you know, the beard look dark, look full, and look sharp. Um, so what I like to do is start off with the bottom first. And we wanna keep this as natural as possible in the back of the beard. And then on the bottom, I like to raise it to the whatever point the client wants, where we're just maintaining what he already has. And as you can see, that beard looks a lot cleaner and a lot sharper already, and we didn't even line up the top line. So now I'm gonna use my razor to sharpen up his mustache. There's really nothing to this. You wanna take your time in that mustache area. And now with the beard, I'm gonna start at the bottom of the beard and establish that line, and then I'll go to the top, and then I'll meet those two points in the middle, and that's how I'm gonna get the nice, clean, round shape that we desire. And as you can see, that line is hitting. Right now, we're putting the cherry on top and just really making it sharp and making it super clean. But fam, this is all my client left leaving. We went ahead and faded him up, lined up his beard, gave him a clean little part. If this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And like always, I appreciate y'all, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.